previous video, I made this armature using Z-Spheres. In between videos, I adjusted the size and shape to get the armature just right. You'll notice I left him in a T pose. This is so I can sculpt him using the symmetry mode. In the previous video, we created this armature out of Z-Spheres. Right now, we cannot do anything with it. We cannot sculpt anything, we cannot add any details or anything like that. And the main reason is that Z-Spheres are not sculptable mesh. Z-Spheres are just basically little previews of what the overall character will look like. So let's go ahead and take a look at what ZBrush Core has to offer and how we can convert this armature into usable geometry. So let's go to the right tray here, uh, scroll down and click on the adaptive skin palette. Here is where we can change some basic settings and make the adaptive skin. Once we click on the Make Adaptive Skin button, ZBrush Core will create a mesh that is going to cover and adapt to our armature, basically like skin over the armature, hence the name Adaptive Skin. So if we click the Preview button here, it will actually show us a preview of what our sculpture is going to look like with the current settings. The Quick Key is the letter A. Toggle that back and forth and you'll see the object change between the Z-spheres and the geometry of the armature. Let's zoom in just a little bit to take a look at here at the geometry. You'll notice, uh, for the most part, the volume of the silhouettes are, are being converted pretty well into the mesh, but we can adjust that by simply using these two sliders here, density and DynaMesh resolution. Let me define these terms for you. Density obviously refers to the density of the mesh, and, and you know that's what we're going to create here. Um, but really, the slider is more about the fidelity of the adaptive skin. The higher the number, it definitely won't change the amount of polygons, but it will generate an adaptive skin that is kind of closer to the shapes that your current uh, armature is set to. Whereas the DynaMesh solution, on the other hand, is the slider that will determine the amount of polygons of the adaptive skin. So this will make it a lot more detailed for you. So let's block out the main shapes of the character first. Uh, let's go ahead and move the slider, let's say around 15 or 16, let's put it on 16 here. Uh, if you have the preview mode enabled, uh, you need to refresh it in order to see changes in the resolution. So as you can see, this is pretty rough. I mean, we lose a lot of detail here. Um, so let's just go to, uh, let's try 64 here and see what that looks like. And go ahead and press the preview button. And I'd even like to get a little bit more detail. Let's go up to 128 and see what that looks like. There we go. I like that. I think that's a good starting point for us. Let's also play a little bit with our density here, maybe set it to a value of 3. That way we'll get a smooth result. Let's go ahead and press the Make Adaptive button. So now ZBrush Core will create a new tool with our mesh. And there you have it. Now it's time to start sculpting. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.